Hello dear friends and welcome to the revision session number 2. So the question here is simple microscope is used for watch repairs. Explain. So the answer to this question is a simple microscope is a magnifying glass that is a biconvex lens with a short focal length. Secondly, its magnifying power is high due to shorter focal length. Third, a virtual erect and magnified image of the object is formed at the least distance of distinct vision when a tiny object is placed within its focus. And fourth, thus the watch repairer can observe small parts of a watch for repairing. Manje Asha Paddhatine upon point wise manner made Uttar Lihun. Mahatwache points underline Kuruyat, okay? And the next question here is What is twinkling of stars? So the change in the intensity of the light coming from the stars is called twinkling of stars. Next question is Stars twinkle, but we do not see twinkling of the planets. So the answer to this question is as the stars are far away from the earth, they act as point sources and atmospheric refraction occurs continuously. Second, the optical density of air continuously changes due to changes in its density. Third, atmospheric refraction is the reason behind twinkling of stars. The star appears bright when light is refracted towards us, that is the observer, and it appears dim when light is refracted away from us, that is the observer. Fourth point of planets. On the other hand, planets are much closer to us. They appear as a collection of point sources. And due to atmospheric refraction, the brightness of the individual point sources, it is different. And its position changes, but the average position and total brightness remains the same with respect to the observer. Therefore, planets do not twinkle. The fourth question is, if the angle of incidence and angle of emergence of a light ray falling on a glass slab are I and E respectively, prove that I is equal to E. So here, drawing a diagram which shows refraction of light passing through a glass slab, it is necessary. And now, let's go for the discussion of this answer. So the first point here is, as shown in figure, PQ is parallel to SR, AB is the incident ray, CD is the emergent ray, NM is the refracted ray and therefore R is equal to I1, this is the equation number 1. And now the refractive index of glass with respect to air is given by sin i upon sin r. You may name this equation as equation 2. And then the refractive index of air with respect to glass, it is given by sin i1 upon sin e. And finally, as the refractive index of glass with respect to air, and the refractive index of air with respect to glass, they are reciprocals of each other. We get sin i upon sin r is equal to sin e upon sin i1 by reciprocating the equation number 3. And finally, as r is equal to i1, we get here sin i is equal to sin e and thus i is equal to e is proved.
ते लास्टली एक लक्षात घेऊयात आपण वाईल रायटिंग द आन्सर्स वे विल राईट दिस आन्सर्स इन अ पॉईंट वाईज मॅनर अँड वी विल गो फॉर अ गुड प्रॅक्टिस ऑफ डेरिवेशन्स और एनी टाईप ऑफ प्रूफ्स विच आर रिलेटेड टू द सब्जेक्ट फिजिक्स अँड इन दिस मॅनर वी विल स्टडी स्मार्ट अँड वी विल स्टडी हार्ड अँड दिस इज ऑल फॉर टुडे अँड हॅव अ गुड डे